Dragon's Dogma 2. The sequel to Dragon's Dogma. Um, I am currently uh, permitted to show 20 minutes of Dragon's Dogma 2. Um, and this is, <laughs> this is actually kept me from playing as much of it as I would like. Cause I was like, I'm going to, if I keep at this, I'm going to start getting into spoiler territory and all this other stuff. And then, then I got to edit around it. So, um, I'm going to play about 20 minutes of Dragon's Dogma 2. The title screen for the game just says Dragon's Dogma on it, which I'm not going to spend any of the 20 minutes on the title screen. Though I briefly did think, like, it should just show, what if I just had the title screen run for 20 minutes? And, well, that'd be, that'd be great. Um, reviews will be hitting at the same time as this. I'm still, you know, working my way through the game. Um, I, it's really, it, so... <laughs> you know, without having finished the game, uh, this is keep, keep this qualified. I say, I would say, but, um, I am really impressed with it so far in so far as it is both a sequel to dragon's dogma. And also just, it feels like a better, I don't know. Like it, it is, it is true to dragon's dogma as, as someone who played through the majority of dragon's dogma one, uh, recently in the grand scheme, um, this feels like that, you know, there's a lot of the same basic concepts of combat and climb creebling all over these enemies and, and getting up on top of them and stabbing them in the back of their damn necks and taking a cyclops and just stabbing, stabbing the shit out of this motherfucker. It, it's, uh, very satisfying in a lot of the same ways. It's just newer and cleaner looking. I, I really like the way it looks. It's run quite quite well. I think the the environment looks good so far. Um, it, I just yeah, um, I have uh, been enjoying it quite a bit. In so far, well, but also I've I have I have not been spending t tons and tons of hours with it either because I wanted to record this video, and uh, and then maybe do some streaming when the game comes out for real. So uh, I have been r holding back on just like what if I stayed up all night playing Dragon's Dogma. Two. Surely, uh, surely that wouldn't backfire <laughs> on me in some way, shape, or form. Uh, and and so I, I've been, uh, yeah, kind of playing it in a, in a somewhat restrained fashion. But you know, it, it's uh, it's interesting to go into a world where pawns are present and everyone seems to know what pawns are and what the arisen is and all this other so the 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 big kind of early setup for this is like oh you're the arisen but we already have one of those i thought there could only be one what the heck's going on and, and so the the part we're playing here is, is kind of potentially going to um well i have my thoughts on how it will probably go but um but yes the the very idea of multiple arisen um, is tantalizing. I think there's a lot of, of cool stuff you can do around that. And, and that's kind of the, you know, the, the very opening of the game. Um, and, and so it kind of expands out from there, but you know, the same type ideas in terms of you are changing vocations at will and you are, uh, as those vague vocations level up, you're putting points, you know, you're, you're, you're spending your, your RC, you're spending to unlock new moves and assigning them to, buttons at will and you know like uh you're doing that for your main pawn as well i didn't go crazy with the character creator i know people have been going hog wild with it lately but i kind of just when it when i got my hands on it i'm like i want to i'm gonna play this i'm not gonna waste spend a bunch of time making characters or whatever so i used like preset names uh it has like you can enter a name and then pick an you know like a a uh, pick a call out name. What I don't, I don't know if it ever says it out loud or what the deal is, but like, you know, it's, that's where like Zangief is on the list. And, and so my main pawn is named Zangief, but I have not heard that out loud. Uh, so I don't know if that, if it's, if it's, if they do it like a sports game voice thing or that, that is one thing. I don't remember how the first game handled that, but I do remember they did have some kind of similar list if I remember right. Anyway, um, 
We've got uh, three pawns with us. We're making our way from place to place. And uh, with that, I guess I'll just kind of get into it, huh? All right. Uh, let me unmute it. Right. I was like, why? Why are we not hearing anything? And I'll uh, start my old timer here just to be... On the up and up. Uh, I went thief, and then I bought a, uh, you know, this uh, face covering, because that seemed like that was some shit a thief would do. Oh, oh. Holy will the Skeletons. Alright, we need our uh, lantern here. We... Ah. Here's the cart now. Do you intend to join us? Huh. I could go on the cart to the next plot point. I don't know why the, uh, why the, this was not happening yesterday. The, I'll make my Very own well. way. But for your own sake, I recommend you make your way. Uh, I don't know why the UI keeps resetting back to, um. I see a ladder yonder. We can't reach it from here. Keyboard shortcuts. We'll to get up there that well, that was down. that was not happening. Look there. He thinks I spy aught of use. We ought to take a closer look. A closer look at what? Okay, this exclamation over okay, here. Here's. Okay, we got some if beast our skin. Is a distant one. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. Oh, yeah? So here's a pawn I could hire, theoretically. Let's spend a little bit of RC, I guess. I don't, yeah, sure, why not? Let's, um... Batty Goth 1 I picked up right outside of the first town here, and, uh... Pat, we found a little more recently. We're gonna get rid of Pat because we already have a, you know, my I made a magic dude. Here, take a rugged, no, take a jagged bone with you. Nope, take a beast skin with you for your trouble. Yeah, thumb. Fair th travels arisen. I shall remember you always. It will be an honor to serve by your side. All right, cool. Let's go. We got an exclamation point here. Oh, that's that's they were talking about this ladder. I yeah, that's. Uh. All right. Oh, here's a. Oh, hey. Uh, rift stones, they're back. Uh, they they told me recently that uh, I got a, a little tool tip that said that uh, rift stones will that are shattered like that. When you bring them back together, they will either just like be bought brought back together, or uh, they may just give you a high level pawn. And uh, I've not run into one of those yet. But we're gonna uh, I'm gonna take this. Uh, 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 no, not equipment. We're looking for. Oh, is it not going to let me out of this menu because of... Yeah, then that's weird. We... Whatever is happening with the controller stuff is really uh, odd. Um, I'm going to find this camping gear that I picked up and pass it off to somebody else because it's heavy. I don't want to hold it. Where is it? There it is. Put them to use. Now we got a lot of stuff on us. We're gonna have to when we get to the next town or something. We're gonna uh, shove some stuff in a bag. I feel at peace to gaze upon it. Indeed, you are correct. The pawn dialogue has been really good so far in that kind of like. 
Like this game, I, I think it's, it, it. I feel like so far it is really maintained the charm of the first game of like, oh, these pawns are talking to each other, but like not, it's not the best conversation. Like they're both just kind of like rattling off lines from time to time. And I, I think that works really well. I, I, I like it. Um, we found a bug. All right, sure. I've got Helm Splitter. I bought Helm Splitter. Game's got Helm Splitter. It's still fun to use, and I feel like I never, I never line it up right. Call on me if there's all I can aid you with. Let's look at the quests here real quick and, uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll set this one as priority because it'll probably... Yeah. It'll mark it on the map more directly because uh, we, de we decided not to just take the easy ride because I wanted to try to get out here and get in a fight instead of just rushing into some story stuff. Get fucked. Yes. Uh, I feel like in a lot of ways this game feels like a sequel to Dragon's Dogma. Uh, one of the other tips they give you pretty early on is this idea that um, time passes and so side quests and stuff will some of them can potentially advance without you and so if you take on a side quest and then you know don't do anything for a while like the the situation may change which yeah i mean that also seems cool whatever it is you need i shall gladly oblige you have no need of my assistance at present, but I shall be ready to render aid at a moment's notice. Okay, let's see what we got out here. Ooh. Okay. There's something crazy down there. Looks like that's probably where we're going. But we need to find a way around. Stamina. That's okay. We should be able to move this boulder with our combined might. Shall we set it rolling? Sure. Oh, that's. Uh, I mean, it's already kind of rolling. <sighs> Might I be of assistance? Oh, yes, you may. Okay. I, you know, I, I needed, I needed to know. Stay with me, Arisen. I needed to know. Another encounter. I ill like this. We are already hard pressed from our previous engagement. Well, I was going to try to rest here, but if, if they say well if there's done. enemies nearby, you may get ambushed when uh, making camp. But I have yet to camp, so let's see what happens. Uh, camping is like resting at an inn um, where you can, you know, rest. You can change your skills out. I believe we can also cook. I want a nice rotten scrag of beast. Something nice. Ah, uh, we don't want to be blighted. Oh my. I had forgotten about this. I had forgotten that this was a thing they were doing in this game. 
Well, we've eaten our fill. Awesome. What say we settle our stomachs for a few hours sleep? <laughs> awesome. Agreed. We ought Did to you see that meat? Did you see that fucking meat, game. dude? We're halfway through our 20 minutes, and I, I just, whatever, man. The, the meat, I could turn it off right now. We're good. See that meat? Uh, saving doesn't seem to have changed much. You know, it, it'll it'll save when you rest it in. It'll save from time to time, but like it, it also does kind of warn you, like, hey man, maybe don't rely on your auto saves too much. You should uh. This ends here. That's right. Battle is to be avoided, I take it, Arisen. Let us defer to the Arisen's judgment. No. It's, it's easy to, to lose enemies in thick brush and stuff like that, you know, unless you've damaged them and their and their life bar is showing and, and, and that sort of stuff. I feel like I'm, I have been occasionally, especially like some of the magic that goes off and, you know, there's just like fire everywhere and you're just like, I don't know, I'm just going to keep swinging these blades and hope for the best. I know there's still something around here alive. <laughs> well, I don't know. Let's go find whoever did you. Oh, I was trying to... Hang on, I'm just dancing over here, really. We're getting XP and DCP. The, D the DCP is what you use to uh, change vocations and buy skills for your vocations. They did imply that you would unlock new vocations as you level the existing ones up. We allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. I have a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. Hi. Good talking to you. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's 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 uh Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? I'll see if we can figure this out. Oh, no, apparently not. We're never going to make it. Oh. We're doomed. No, actually, maybe we are doomed. For all the Kreeblin, and you can't I really... Let them harm you. you can't Kreeble up a surface like that. Oh, hi. Let me walk you over to the dude who spits fire and see if he'll shoot a bunch of fire at you. No? He's not into fire anymore. My aim is true. He's got his lightning I bought him his lightning bolt spell and now he's just into that instead. Okay. Alright, Zangief. Oh, that was Zangief. Oh, what did I well who's that? Whatever, man. Uh, there are rope bridges and stuff that a tooltip implies that you can break, and then over time they will be repaired. Um, so long as we make it to the other side, we'll be all right. What? I understand. You want it? If you are in need of aid, pray stay the word. Whoa. Oh, that seems... Okay, good. Alright, then I won't have to re-record this because we found someone that I can maybe do some Kreeblin on. Oh, 
Oh, let me creeble. Let me get up here and... Oh, this bird is going to make me fall asleep while I'm trying to... Oh, Jesus. Oh, we love to creeble. Oh. I will never not creeble. Is it the right move? I don't know. Can I hold on to this guy's ass and stab him? Yes. Uh, this game is sick. Oh, no! <laughs> That's fucking so good. That's so good. That's the first time I died. <laughs> he just fucking says, check this shit out. And dives onto his goddamn back. Motherfucker. Um, this game seems like it's real good. Uh, it also seems like it is, uh, oh, this is a nice save. Um, <laughs> I appreciate it. Let's do this some more. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I don't have the stamina to keep doing this. Hey, what's up? Oh, thanks. Not okay. necessarily easier to counter. Swap the open attention, master. Try to keep it occupied. I shan't squander this opportunity. The game's kind of janky, you know. Like in the ways that the first game was in some in some spots, I think. Um, Oh, I gotta. I'm gonna, we're gonna try and yeah. Oh yeah! Did you see that shit? Oh no! It's <laughs> 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 so good, dude. He's just so dramatic about doing it, too. It's like he's taking a flat back bump. Oh my god. It's me, I'm creeping him on your leg. <laughs> you know, the pawn stuff does the same kind of online stuff where they'll gain knowledge, and if, they, if you get a pawn that's done a quest before, then, you know, it's going to be able to suggest. Uh, Courses of action. Oh, that's that's probably not good. Hey, uh, I wanna I wanna go. Can you get can you get this guy to let me go? No, okay, we're just shit, dude. Watch our phone carefully to determine our best strategy here. The reason is covered in slime. I am covered in slime. It's true. Oh, this is gross. I'm still going to stab this dude in the ass. This foe is my unstoppable legend. Try and revive this one. Okay. I only hope I did not Look at that wind effect, all the grass and everything that blows out of the way. That's cool. He's running away with another one with two of us hanging on. <laughs> this is fucking so good, dude. Uh. Okay, I gotta get off. I don't have the stamina. Ooh, I'm so sleepy. It seems we have enraged our foes. Why do we not use their rage to our advantage? I'm aware of the 
that fucker just... Oh, that's... Okay. That's bad. Oh, there's birds over here, too, so they're singing us to sleep. That's bad, too. That's also bad. This is all bad. Oh, I got... Uh, I got hurt. <laughs> you got anything for me, dog? All right. This is, uh... Well, we almost got one of the bars down. There. Well, that's 20 minutes. <laughs> um, it reminds me, this is a weird comparison that I think, you know, a lot of people might take the wrong. Uh, reminds me of that Kingdoms of Amalur game. I could say that about the first Dragon's Dogma as well. Like it, it, this game has like, um, genre game roots. You know, it's it's got it's got B game roots in a weird way, in in the positive sense, I guess. Um, uh, but this the sequel here feels like they have modernized certain aspects of it. Uh, and we you know not really showing too much of that here because it's a lot of menus and just like the I think the particulars of just navigating those aspects of the game feel like they've been cleaned up. Um, but it doesn't really feel like they are throwing away any of the things that made the first game charming. And that's a charm that I didn't see when the game, when they, when I first saw the game, when you see that dude creeble in on that, on a big enemy, which is when, when I first saw the game, that's what they showed. I was like, that's killer. It was like this feeling of like, this is Monster Hunter for me. And then I played it, and at the time, it just didn't... I think the stamina stuff really pushed me away because I want infinite Kreeble. And that's just not <laughs> what the game is. And I'm a little more patient all these years later. I can uh, bide my time and uh, Kreeble when I can. And uh, I think that's just left me in a better position to appreciate this game than maybe I did when the first one originally came out. Um, but it has a lot of very particular charm, you know, like there are aspects of it that are just like a little weird, the way the pawn stuff works. It's, it's, you know, funky around the edges. And I think a lot of that is still here. Um, but I think that's, I ultimately, I think that's a good thing that that is to me, I think, part of the flavor that made this game work in the first place or part of why the people who liked that first game loved it so much. And uh, I will be curious to see, cause there are plenty of people who like are, you know, that, that played a lot more dragon's dogma one than I did. Um, who probably have a, a deeper fondness for it than I do. Um, and so I'm curious to see what people end up kind of thinking about it from, from that perspective. Um, I will say from, from my perspective, I'm having a really good time with it. Um, the big enemies feel beatable in a way that, you know, in some games they, they sometimes don't. But like when I see these big enemies in the field, I am psyched. It's not like, oh, here's another rotten encounter. Here's another one of the, it's no, it's like, all right, let's see what the fuck happens here because the game can be so dynamic in the way that combat unfolds in the way that, and, and, and maybe this is because I'm maybe people who are better at it than I am are just chewing through those fights and they're just like, whatever, it's another boring Cyclops. It's another one of these, but like I have had such a good time in the previous game with those types of encounters. Um, and here I find myself just running right into them. I'm like, I need to stop and look at my health and go like, oh, should I, should I ready up before I do this? But like half the time I'm just like charging into battle going, fuck it, let's fucking climb on this dude and stab him in the neck. Uh, and that stuff is still so satisfying. Um, 
it's so satisfying. So yeah, I, I have, I have been enjoying my time with it. And again, you know, if you, if you do end up picking this game up, you will see for yourself just how early in the game this part is. Um, and so, uh, I've got a lot left to go here, but, uh, I, th this, this seems very cool. This seems fan fucking tastic so far. Um, and I'm looking forward to spending a, a, a lot more time with it over the next, you know, few weeks here, whatever it ends up being. Um, it's been a lot of fun. So yeah, I, I'm trying to think if there's anything else uh, worth kind of bringing up here. Uh, hmm. Mm hmm. 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 I think the the setup for the story is intriguing. I think the, the some of the stuff they do with with the kind of the early things about the game when they reveal you know how you became a risen. You know, like, there's just like little bits and pieces near the beginning of the game that I think are well done, like cutscenes and such uh, that I think are, are are nicely done. And um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think a lot of it like sticks pretty close to what you would expect from a sequel to Dragon's Dogma. Except who could have expected they would have ever finally made a sequel to Dragon's Dogma. It's cool that we get another one of these. Um, and I wonder how well it will do this time around if it will find a, a larger audience this time. It got me thinking about the way the title screen just says Dragon's Dogma on it. Obviously the, the Steam name, this was the PC version by the way. I guess if the keyboard stuff didn't make that obvious. Um, like... The logo, when they show it uh, on boxes or when they, they, you know, they've, they've put out images of, of the logo and everything, and it does say Dragon's Dogma 2. But I just, I, I don't know, maybe I'm just like grasping at something that's not really there. But the way the title screen just says Dragon's Dogma makes me wonder if there was some kind of, if like story reason for that um, or, or something. That was what it, the first thing I thought of. And, and maybe that's nothing and maybe that goes nowhere. But it was, it was the first thing I thought of. Um, It would be really funny if you ended up playing this game for like 20 hours and then got another title screen and it said Dragon's Dogma 2 and then every time you launched it, then the 2 was there in the logo. Uh, that would be a fucking cool thing to do. I don't, again, I, you know, I, I don't really know where the story goes from here. But they did send over, like, here's a list of spoilers to not include in your review and I, I can never help it. I, I ended up looking at a bunch of stuff from like late game don't talk about this thing and i'm like ooh, that sounds cool <laughs> so, uh so i guess uh, i will say that uh, the stuff that they have revealed to reviewers about the plot uh as a spoiler moments that stuff sounded pretty neat so i uh, you know take that as you will um and if you're watching this i guess thursday morning it's out tonight it was like 5 p.m pacific time this is a weird launch time but um yeah that's dragon's dogma 2 thanks for watching everyone and uh yeah go watch another video or go i don't know go go try to creeble on something get your creeble skills up you're gonna need them and i'll see you soon <laughs>